Welcome back to the Artists or Shitty People podcast. Artists or Shitty People. My name is Kelby Canick, publisher of Making a Magazine, founder of the membership, and I'm joined by our resident artist, Miss Primrose. She's a rapper and a singer, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. What's well, good? What's good? Man, a lot. How's your week been? It's been interesting. Had my birthday. That mm-hmm. was fun. The party was Oh, in. you're 30 now. I'm 30 now. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Jeremiah tried to take me out. He was like, you're 30. You're old. I was like, I don't feel old and 30 is okay. I was like, me and Kelby Vent, we talked about this. So I feel good about it now. I'm okay with saying I'm 30. Because a lot of people ask me, how old are you? I'm like, 30. Yeah. 30. Yeah. Proudly. So, yeah. I'll look... That and that's the that's the whole thing is like it is what it is. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's life. That's everything. Um, but we feel how we see it. Yeah. So you can feel bad if you look at it bad. If you look at it negatively, look at it positive. Like oh, coming from the mean streets of Jersey. Right. I'm, some of my friends didn't even live to see 30. Like, it was like That's her rapper background. That's real. Go though. back to like episode six. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> 50 facts. Some people really did live to see it, so no. I should be proud and happy yeah. of it. So it's just, you know, based on what other people have told me, I thought it was a bad thing, but now yeah, it's a after. a terrible thing. After, I've lived a oh long time. Oh, my God. Right. Uh-huh. Terrible. So horrible. <laughs> my knees cracking and my back hurts. Uh-huh. It's nah. Like, so, but um, but yeah, you you had your birthday. Yeah. Officially thirty. Um, what else? What's been going on? Uh, been working out. Very good. Took some classes. That was fun. Um, one of my dancer friends, one of my friends, she lost a sister this week. Mm. So that was kind of tough. Um, been navigating how to be a good friend in in that you know right. realm and atmosphere. But um, just been reaching out to her every day, making sure she's eating, send her some money just to let her know, hey, I'm here for you. If you need to talk, reach out. And um, she's supposed to be coming with us next week to South By. So I just open the door for her, let her know, like, hey, if you can't make it, if it's too much for you, then just let me know. and We can make yeah. some other accommodations. But she is like, no, I think it'd be good for me. I need to go and get my head away, you know, because she just needs to be around good people. So. Yeah. yeah, we're going to be good. Um, mm, and be around good people. It's going to be a lot of artists there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Insert title of podcast. Artists are shitty people. <laughs> well. Oh man. Yeah. So no, that's a okay. Yeah. So it's been a it's been a week, but all in all, we still here. We still making it. You know. Yo, like having a like someone who's going through that. Mm-hmm. Your birthday. Yeah. And our last conversation in context. Yeah. You follow me? And it's like, and well, like I said, hey, we're all going to die. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, and, and, I, and that's one of the things like I tell artists all the time. Like, so. I had that that conversation actually with my parents too, because mm-hmm. I told them about the podcast and I said, you know how you kind of brushed me off about that life insurance thing that we talked about um, with my mom. And she was like, well, you know, just, it just wasn't something comfortable to talk about financially. And, you know, nobody wants to talk about death. And I said, yeah, but it's one of those things that we're all going to have to face at some point in time. And she, I guess she opened up her mind a little bit more about it because they said they want to look into it. I think I just have to initiate it a little bit more because though they say they want to, they're still not going to do it until, you know, I pushed them. But at least we had that conversation based off of the podcast that we had. Go back and watch that previous podcast based on that podcast that we had. And I think, you know, a lot of black people in our community, not even just black people, 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 people period. (laughs) Don't People, want, period. I want to die. Don't nobody want to die. Nobody <laughs> want to talk about that. Like, like, listen, nobody signs up for it, but mm-hmm. we're all signed up for, for it. it. Right? <laughs> like, and that's the reality. Like, Man. it is what it is. Yeah. So it's like you'll feel how you look at it. Mm. So like that's that's it. Like so, I was like, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, enough about me. What about you? How's your week been? Oh man, busy. Yeah. South by crazy. South by. We got uh I just checked it. We like it. Twenty one forty two RSVPs, two thousand one hundred and forty two RSVPs. Two thousand one hundred and forty two. Uh the goal is to be at um 
5,000 by the day of the event, ideally. Wow. So. Um, I mean, a lot of people, and you're going to have people that just want to walk in oh, and yeah, come always, on the day of. That happens. So, so yeah. So Whew. it's, it's going to be. That's fun. a lot of people to work with. Well, see, that's, that's, that's them attending the event. We're only doing, uh, we got four, five events, four stages, 50 acts. So that's like an average of like, what, shit, that's an average of 13 acts per stage, roughly. 14 acts per stage. Um, so, like, we don't, like I said, like I told you, we don't pack them all on one stage. Yeah. We ain't trying to do no. So, we got, like, 12 on the Meet the DJ stage. We got 12 on the um, Twerk Fest because that's more of a party. Um, then we the stage that we got the most artists on is um, the Big Energy Sound Stage. Mm. Um, and that's like 25 acts. And then Media Matters, we got 15 acts that we booked to perform for free from the membership and the subscription. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to let one of our media partners curate three to five acts to perform on the showcase. Okay. So, yeah. So that's it. Sounds like a lot of preparation goes into all of this. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, rent. Staging, banners, posters, catering. Oh, man. I got to show you the catering. We're doing the, I think we're doing chicken and waffles and lobster, mac and cheese, and fruit. Like, all the, all the, the brunch is going to be lit. Oh, we going to be eating good. <laughs> yeah, the brunch is going to, you ain't going to be eating, you're going to be working. You're going to be watching other people eat. Ask them how it tastes. <laughs> I'm not eating. I feel like a slave, <laughs> no, we, like, no, because normally what we'll do, we'll go out to breakfast oh, before okay. we do. Like but Breakfast the, before brunch. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's how we, because like never get to eat at our events. Really? Yeah. Well, because we're working. Every that once in sense. a while, like when we used to do Media Matters here, every once in a while I would get a plate. But most of the time, like, yo, like Going. this for everybody else. Like this is like. Who hosts? Um, for the media matters, yeah, I normally host. Okay, yeah. so and this is because these are like these are members and subscribers. So everyone know you. Yeah, usually watching it's a you. personal. Yeah. Well, no, it's not even that. I watch them. Like so that, and that's what people don't like really get. Like that's what like I have make no qualms about ignoring people's links and to, I don't give a fuck about your music. It's like you have a direct way mm. to get me your music. <laughs> So if that, you're, yeah, that if you're not channel, like yeah. you ain't interested in anything we got going on. Every year, like I said, every year turn down at least ten thousand dollars, like from people trying to get on stage during. The, Man, I gotta, but I gotta. I'm like, we have a whole website, bro. <laughs> you was here last year. <laughs> you still didn't follow the channel. Yeah, right. like, what are we talking about? <laughs> it's like, yeah. So and it's like, but everyone who's on my stage knows this mm. because and it's like, um, well, you weren't here for content day. Everyone has a story, yeah, like how they came into. Oh, I saw know, the like, I saw the 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 story though yeah. that, that everybody told. Yeah, so I it's like video. it's like having the um, conversations with them and watching them grow and being a part of the platform from their updates. So. Um, like each person, like when I introduce them, I tell a story. Mm. Like I, I want, I want the crowd to receive them to know as who family. They are. Like yo, this ain't mm. this ain't just random person number. Just seven. tell them who you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So supposed to be doing that. And so that's one of the things. Like when uh, um, like creating, creating these spaces, uh, for collaboration. Mm. Not not just on the music, but as people. Yeah. Like that's that's what that's what society is. This is is all about collaboration. It's all about adding to each other and mm. growth. It's and so people 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 always think collab like hopping in the studio together, but then outside of that, man, y'all don't even repost each other's music. Like you don't you ain't never showed up at this person's show. Like you've never like the amount of artists who don't go to something that they're not performing at. Like mm. that's the whole thing. Like with South by Southwest, the amount of artists who, if I'm not performing, Ain't showing I'm up. not going to that. I'm not spending no money to go out of town and what to. Why would I want to see other people perform? And why would I, I want to be around perform. artists all around? Why would I want to be around all this networking and information and opportunity mm. 
if it can't be at least five minutes just For about me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the is that mindset, shaking that mindset. But mm-hmm. um, but yeah, just been getting everything together for South by. Um, a lot of last minute people been hitting up to get on stages. Like that's always we um we probably got like mm, three slots that we can get some people on. But we're trying to be real selective with these yeah. last three. But but yeah, that's it. Just um working. Mm-hmm. So South by how many days? Eight days away. Eight days away. Eight days away. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. I'm just excited to go. Yeah, and work. Yeah, but go. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, what is today's topic? Um, well, you know, last week we left off with a cliffhanger. I do remember one part. You you had homework. I did have homework. Yeah, it's three weeks overdue. But go ahead. You had a birthday party out here. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I started it. You know, the dog kind of ate my homework, but I restarted it. And I know one portion that we were supposed to talk about mm-hmm. when you talked about that update, you just reminded me because oh, you yeah. told me that I didn't do my update correct and you was going to tell me this is how it could have been better. But I did do it, though. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know the update was every 30 days. Right. I thought this was a post to let people know no. what I had coming up, which... It's not promotion. It's publicity. Publicity. And so... Oh, what's the difference? Wow. And so, it's a, I define... I have my own definitions for things. Okay. And I... I to, so, make, to make them more approachable. And... All right. So, for you guys, I say promotion is what's coming up. Mm-hmm. Publicity is what has passed. Oh, okay. And so publicity is promotion and retrospect. Okay, so it's what has already happened. It's accomplishments, it's the milestones, it's these things. And so those things have happened and they're fixed in time. They're not changing. Promotion is this is what's coming up. This is what's going to happen. This is what I I want you to get involved Mm -hmm. with. And so promotion is, hey, we got an event on, oh, we got Media Matters coming up next week, South by Southwest, over 2,100 people, RSVP, da-da-da-da-da-da. That's promotion. Promotion. I want you to to, to, um, RSVP, buy a ticket, do all that stuff. Like, I'm trying to get you, right? Now, I could be like, For nine years, we've done the Media Matters soundstage every year, bringing out Mm -hmm. thousands of guests, over 100 media outlets um, and professionals who come to check out talent, network, um, and do interviews. Um, Yeah. That's that's, publicity. And what I've done is I've created an image in your head of the brand. Mm. So I've, from a a publicity standpoint... what I did was give you more context about a thing. Mm-hmm. So there's no specific call to action or anything for you right now. Right. But now, next time I, I mention media matters, you have context for that word. You have context like, oh, they've been doing that for nine years. Mm-hmm. And oh, so it, it's something that's consistent. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's a lot of people. That, it's going to be a, so it paints a picture in your head. Like when someone's promoting, things are taken with a grain of salt. And because it's promotional, it's like I'm trying to get Get you to act on Mm -hmm. something. When it's publicity, in in my perspective, it's I'm trying to inform you on something. And so I'm shaping your perception of a thing Mm -hmm. um, through publicity. And so they're both very much the same thing in different contexts. They both fall up under marketing. They're both... Um, are about getting information out to the people, but I think it's more about what is the intent Mm. of the thing. So you have, um, let's see, let me see if I can pull you up real quick, your update. My update. I think it was about the 24th. I think so. Yeah. Sounds about right. I was like, I got a show coming up. Yeah. Listening party. Come listen. Come party. Oh, so I got another song placement. Hey. Do you have an app? 
No, we're getting the app done. Oh, okay. Like, I, I kind of tried not to do it for the longest. Not to get an app? Yeah, because I, um, I didn't want the thing. Like, there's a reason why it's only 30 days. Like, I really wanted a, a narrow focus on what we do. Mm. And I wanted, um, I didn't want you guys to have another thing to juggle. Mm. Like, because you got Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, like, all these different things. And it's like, ah, I got to post every day on this and to feed the algorithm. Yeah. That's why we don't do an algorithmic feed for the updates. Everything's chronological. Um that's the reason why we don't expose like follower counts and stuff like that. We didn't want y'all uh, focusing on vanity metrics. Uh, um, but the problem is, then y'all don't focus on anything. <laughs> I was like, just gotta get my followers up. <laughs> All right, so what's yeah. next? Primrose listening party. I'm hosting a listening party that. I'll be sharing new music that I've either been a writer, artist, or producer on. Join me and some of Atlanta's creatives as we connect, vibe, and celebrate. Hope to see you there. All right. So there are two ways that this could be a better update. Mm -hmm. You could post after the listening party, right? For publicity. Yeah, which would... Then you get linked to photos from the listening party, a video recap of the listening party. Yeah. Or you get post, um, like in leading up to the listening party, but the the story is different. It's about um, setting a date for the listening party. Mm. It's about something that you've done still in relationship to the listening party, like the venue that you secured, the partners that you secured with doing it. Mm. So, um, you know. Um, when you say, like, you're saying, like, talk about? Mm hmm. That? Let's see. I got three logos down here. Yeah. Um, Indie Fresh Concerts, FDL Compound, and Confetti Queen Designs. Okay. Um, what's FDL Compound? That's the location that it'll be at. AKA my training spot, AKA sponsors too. Right. They're definitely so they're sponsors. Yeah. So um, FDL Compound comes on as a sponsor for Primrose's upcoming listening party. Mm -hmm. Oh, the past okay. That's two not how I can say. Okay, see? yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so over over the past um, two years, Primrose has been very active in her artistry. Um, as a writer, artist, and producer, collaborating with, you know, yeah. people. Indie uh, Fresh Concerts, this is my fifth show. No, no we're so. still focusing oh, on oh, the point FDL. of the listening party. Uh. So so that's that was the headline. Uh. So that's the, this is the information, right? So that's the headline. So I've mentioned, one, notice all your stuff should be written in third person. You should never write in first person. So, um, because hmm. it's a couple things. Um, I'm dope. Doesn't sound as cool as she's, she's dope. dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then there's the other side of it from a um, yeah. SEO side. I, me, our, we doesn't feed the algorithm like, Primrose, mm. rising singer Primrose, producer Primrose. Talking about her. Right. Mm. So when I Google Primrose, Primrose now this page is going to come up higher. Mm. Not I. I, we, our. That doesn't, that doesn't help anybody. It's nondescript. Mm. Um, Would you do the same thing for Instagram? Uh, Third person? No, because... it. Uh, because it's you. It's okay. it's an assumption of you. So with our profiles, everything should be written in third person. Your profile is to be written in third person. Your updates are to be written in third person. Um, because it's it's really 
it's a profile for your brand mm. more than you. So these updates are like baby press releases. Okay. And so one of the things, like, if I really like this and I rock with it, I could easily copy this image and your caption because it's written in a way that's third person uh. and paste it and post it up on my side or repurpose it into an Instagram post. And that's why I third person. Yeah. Makes sense. Make it easy on people that you want to help. Um, so getting back into the, um, what I'm saying, the actual body of the update. Um, so the headline, we made it about the um, FDL coming on as a sponsor for Primrose's listening. upcoming listening party. So we've um, acknowledged your sponsor. Mm -hmm. um, we've mentioned your name. Mm -hmm. And we told... What's, What's coming up? On. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All in the headline. So even if I didn't read the rest of it, I know these things. <laughs> um, so now it's like, um, for the past couple of years, Primrose has been very active in Atlanta's music scene, collaborating with various producers, artists, songwriters, and she's built up a catalog of work that she's now ready to present to the people, um, partnering up with FDL, it's a fitness studio in Atlanta where she also works as da da da, -da whatever. Mm. Um, Primrose is happy to, it will be inviting out um, select list of tastemakers and supporters uh, to enjoy free food, da 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 you know. Yeah. And then click the link below for more details. Um, and so it could be, or you could even get into, like, one of the songs that you wrote on or something specific um, that you'll be showcasing um, seven to eight songs, including this single uh, that you collaborate as a writer with, Jeremiah Atkins, da 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 da, Grammy niggas Lane. in Atlanta, yeah. and then boom, it's a link to the song. Mm -hmm. And so, even after this passes, because it was written from a historical standpoint, it's always going to be relevant. relevant. Mm -hmm. But when it's like next Thursday, March twenty eighth, it's going down. <laughs> Don't forget to click the link, buy your tickets today. Then it's like the 29th hits, and it's like this it's is old stole, shit. Yeah, it's done with. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So. That's that's how I frame like the wow. difference between PR and publicity from a from a practical level. And so um, promotion is just understood that you're trying to get someone to act, and publicity is more about you still want to get people to act, um, but it's 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 significantly more subtle because you allow them to figure out what the action is. It's more about you um, giving them the information to help them figure out. Because the action could be like, yo, let me go check out our music. Or, oh, let me go um, see what FDL, like, that's a spot I could check out. Or, like, so it, it, but it's giving them information with which they can act on. Mm. So, those are, those are, that's that. That was really helpful. I'm glad. I'm going to need to, uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that. Because, see, I'm going to think, thing about me is I'll hear it mm -hmm. and not apply it. Not, I can't apply it until I actually write it down in <laughs> notes or something. So like even a couple of things on uh, the podcast previous is like, I know he said something and I wanted to do it, but what was it again? You know? Right. So until it drops or until I have some notes written down, I'm going to just be, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm so. going to still be here like, still don't know it. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> And that's the truth. Ooh, work like, your progress, bro. Right. All right, so we gotta get we gotta get the releases releasing. Yeah. <laughs> At least privately, so I can sit there and take my notes uh, down uh, and be uh, doing because I'm slowing like slowing your progress, that, slowing your progress. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like he said it, but I don't remember. So, but no, that's so like that's the that's the um, the big thing yeah. um, with understanding that and how you use with our site. Um, so when it comes to like the, my idea for the site, um, as it evolved from just something to help me was a way for you guys to replace shitty publicists. Mm. So as an independent, as a creative, as a brand, 
this goes into a much deeper conversation. And I got to start at the beginning. Mm. And we've talked, music is, has no value. Right. I've told you that. Mm -hmm. It's worthless. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not worth anything. <sighs> Satisfaction? <laughs> so it's a nice breeze on a summer day. Do summer I have to pay breeze. for it? Breeze, nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, all right. Music is the language of culture. Okay. Right. It's like... And I think this was the reference when when we talked about it in the previous podcast. I, I don't remember. I think it was Despicable Me, like the guy was going to block out the sun or still some one or <laughs> Mega Mind, one of these yeah. things. But it's it's in terms of creating this thing where something that is free, someone captures it, kidnaps it. Oh, and rations air. it back yeah, out to you yeah, and charge yeah. it. Like, imagine if the government, if they, boom, we're going to, because of CO2, we're going to charge you to breathe now. Yeah. You would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that sounds like some real sinister, bad guy, evil stuff. Yeah. But that's what the music industry is. It's taken a part of culture, something that's existed for millennia. Mm -hmm. Music has been a part of culture for millennia. Yeah. People have been making music since they could make, even before they could make tools. Birds sing. Like, it's a part of culture. Yeah. <laughs> right? So this is a thing people told stories to pass on the history of a culture. Mm -hmm. People sang for communal reasons, for all of these different things, like, before a music industry even existed, before the printing press, people sang songs, people played instruments, and they did all of these things because they were creatives and because they shared the culture. And they got paid for their time and for their what they did. So they would get paid accordingly. Yeah. And then we found a way to capture the song. Technology creates mm -hmm. a way to capture it, and now we can hold it hostage. If you want to hear this piece you of culture, hear this. like whether it was the printing press with being able to mm -hmm. now sheet music, if you want to be able to play that song, yeah. you got to pay me for this. Then we record it. Yeah. If you want to be able to hear this song, you got to pay me for this. Yeah. You want to be able to play this so other people can hear this piece of culture. You got to pay us, publish it. Mm. Like, these are all social constructs. Copyright is a social construct. See, and I, and I say this, and I, and, I, and I put it in these terms because creatives love to rally against capitalism. But capitalism is what allows you to Get have paid. this dream as a creative. Yeah. So you need to be a better capitalist. You need to understand the full game, like how all this stuff, like, so rather than, yeah, the bit, the machine, and they don't want this. And then it's like, yo, everybody's trying to make money, including you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, get the fuck out of here with all that. I just want to change the world. Then put it out free. SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody, like, you want to make money. You're trying to do this. So let, let's be practical and honest about the thing. Yeah. So... Understanding that music essentially should be free because mm -hmm. it's culture. It only it the reason why it made money is because an industry kidnapped it, mm. enslaved it. It enslaved music. A piece of culture. Mm. Imagine another piece of culture. Like right now, they're trying to. Um, or not even trying to, they're copywriting. Um, there's been, I think it was one or two that I know that went through um, dance moves. Like there was the whole thing with the emotes in Fortnite. What? Oh, okay. So, you know, like the... Um, the Fortnite, the game? The game. You know, when people win, I don't play it. Like, yeah, I've played it once or twice with my son. Like, but, you know, they when they win or they do little stuff, they do little dances, the gritty, okay. the, all the little... Our dances, our yeah, culture, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, so you take our dances, you put it in your game, and you sell them to people, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. That doesn't uh, seem right, does it? Wow. Right. That's that seems. 
Well, they sell the emote. Like if you want your character to be able to, to do be able this, to do that. Yeah, it's just like that. a skin, right? Wow. So that's a piece of culture. You want them to do the yeah this? You they sell that? To my understanding, yes. Wow. That's the whole like the like you can buy skins, you can buy you emotes, you can, can buy weapons. Buy dances like, now. Yeah. So the, here's the thing. Um, that seems crazy that you could buy dances. It seems like it should be something that's it's free. It's free, yeah. Right. So why, la, 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 la. <laughs> why I got to pay you for that? Nah, that's not free. Right. <laughs> that ain't what, free. How, what is the difference? So <laughs> I put time and effort into making the, so, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So, so that's but, the wow, thing. Wow, it's just. <sighs> yeah. So, so think about that. It's like yeah. you're just selling everything, though. But yeah, but you're part of that. See, you don't see yourself as the bad guy. No bad guy sees themselves as the bad guy. Everybody has their their reasons. Everybody has their like, yo, I put a lot of time and effort into coming up with this. Ah, oh, so did the choreographer. So did the developers who had to motion mocap that motion capture the person doing it and add their own little spice and do all that, they add value too. Yeah. And so there's this thing of where it's like understanding that we're selling culture mm -hmm. and you're monetizing culture, you're monetizing art. And so at its core, you are the people that you complain about. You complain about the industry and the gatekeepers and these people who are, it's all about the money and it's this, that, and the other. And it's like, well, then just do what you do and allow other people to make money off of it if you don't care. Right. But no. Exactly. Because you got to survive. Yes, you can go get a job. And, and then still contribute to culture. And still do this thing that you love and you want to change the world. And guess what? You would change the world faster if your music was out there and available for free. Free, uh, yeah. You, what, what is the most popular operating system What on computers? What does damn near every computer run? The internet. No, no. The operating system. Like you got Mac OS. You got Windows. Windows. Which, one, which, which one are you more likely to find? I guess Windows. Windows. Yeah. Windows has. Let me look up at look it up, because it's not Windows. It's not Windows. What? It's Windows isn't the most popular operating system. It's not Mac. It's definitely not Mac. Mac's too expensive for. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it has a small market share. Is it? I don't know. What kind of computer? Yeah. A, a Google computer? I don't know. All right, um, so Microsoft Windows was the dominant desktop operating system worldwide as of January 2023 with a share of over 74%. That's big. That's high. That's a lot. Yeah. All right. So that's Microsoft. Right, Microsoft Windows. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's a lot of Windows computers. And so, so you got to be extra special to be able to work a Mac. But you, but here's the thing, Windows costs, right? And um, Mac OS, Macs, only Macs can produce Mac, and Mac OS proprietary, it's just for them. Yeah. So they control the price. So the starting price to get on a computer that has Mac OS, let's say, is around eight hundred dollars. The starting price to get on a computer that has Windows, you can find a Windows computer for three, four hundred dollars. Yeah, even cheaper than that. So because it's cheap, it's more people who have it. Yeah. More availability. But the number one operating system is Linux. And you probably haven't heard of it really. My uh I used to work at um, Mercedes Benz, and mm -hmm. that's what the computers that they gave out to us were the Lin L E N O X. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, right? Well, no, no, those are the, uh, that's a you probably thinking Lenovo. Lenovo. Yeah. No, the operating system is Linux. L I N U X. It's a free operating system. I don't know that. One. It's a free operating system. It's free. Yeah, like damn near every computer on, hooked up to the internet. It's it's probably running in the background like on it's what android is based on 
Android is a is based on Linux. So every Android phone mm-hmm. is running Linux. Um, most consoles are running Linux. Most like um, TV over um, what is it? TV top. I can't even remember the acronym, but like your cable box, your all these embedded systems, all these different devices that are hooked into the internet mm-hmm. running Linux. Damn near every website that you probably visit is running a flavor of Linux. But how is that possible? How is it free and how is it running for free? Because people contribute to it. It's open source. Open source WordPress. Oh. You got Wix. Well, WordPress powers damn near Everything. 80% of the internet. <laughs> and it's free. Hmm. Yeah. And because it's free with open source software, people contribute to it to make it better. So if I have a problem with it, I fix my problem and that add it back to everybody's it. Everybody's problem. Oh, I didn't know that. And I didn't know that was even work possible. To make it better. Yes. Huh. So if everything was like that, we would be a lot better. Mm. I feel like because mm. everybody's contributing for free. Yeah. So nobody's worried about, oh, I got to pay to do this and pay to do that. No, it's just, it's free. Two people. Two people. Ones that believe that things can be uh, perfect. And those who understand I that it can be. and realist. Yeah. Like, because it could be. <laughs> but here's the thing. But Every, realistically. Everybody doesn't value everything the same. This is true. So that's that's where like capitalism and money comes in, it allows us to to interface with each other on value. Yeah. yeah. Like, and so there there are some there are things that someone would charge you that charge a lot of money and you don't value it. Mm-hmm. And then there are things that people do that they don't they you would have paid ten times what they charged you. Cause it was like, yo, they work was that good or mm-hmm. they and it's like, because there, there, there's that thing of value because we're all different. That's like when I was talking about the 360 deals. It could be the exact same contract, but each person brings different qualities and context to that same contract. Yeah. Where for one person, it could be a terrible deal. And for one person, they could be robbing the bank. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's all context driven. Um, so like all that to say... Music, for thousands of years, was open source. Mm. People created music, created songs, created stories. Art was open source. Art. There, the, there was, it's this language of culture, and I tell a story to you, and you add your spice and tell a story, and it's like open source. That you sing a song, and you sang it this way, and you added a verse, and then, like open source, and mm. it tells the story of our cultures, then in comes capitalism. Mm. Like, don't, mm, because you a capitalist. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just said, mm, (laughs) wow. That wasn't a, hmm, that was a, mm, them damn (laughs) capitalists. And see this, and this is why I put, break it down like this, because you got to understand what you are and who you are. Yeah. I'm a capitalist. Yeah. That's you want to okay. capital, you want to capitalize off, off of your of art. Stuff, yeah. yeah, you want to capitalize. It's when everybody else do it, it's it's evil. Yeah. <laughs> Sinister. Look at them. They're trying to they making all the money Look off our them. music. Like when we talked about the labels. Right. Yeah, cuz they didn't make money off of these other 90 that they invested yeah. into. You just happen to be the lucky one that right. they made money. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so Meh. that's okay. the whole thing. Just um, understanding the value of the music and understanding that uh, that you are a capitalist and you're yeah. trying to capitalize. What were we talking about? We just went over this. Oh, it's a good thing I wrote some notes down. Uh, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> wow. <that> was- <laughs> so... Your face. Um, I didn't expect that. You already. Had let's see. Everything, y'all. Kelly's funny. So as I was saying, um, 
I had to I had to create that context of how music is was essentially free for millennia. It's just part of culture. Mm. And it spread because of culture on the backs of culture, not on the backs of capitalism. Mm. It was just a narrow window for the past 100, 150 years, the recording industry has been um, capitalizing off of this segment of culture because they captured it. They kidnapped it. Because they realized people wanted it. Well, it's like, yes, people want it, but it was a thing like, you want air, you want clean water, you want anything. But if I can, it's like, you like sunny days. Yeah. If I invented a weather machine that could guarantee a sunny day or change the weather, then I could charge you for what something that's a naturally occurring phenomenon, but now I have control over mm. it, I can charge you for it. That's evil. But that's what you're doing. No, I'm not. Yes. Then let me just sing your songs. You what? What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, because you coming up with the songs was natural. You're a creative. Yeah. You created a thing. Therefore, it's, it's mine. Why is it yours? Because I came up with it. It came out of me. Right. Yeah. But the sun didn't come out of me. Right. So if you take the sun that was given to all of us equally at the same rate... Mm -hmm. and now you're trying to control something that was given to us all, then that's evil. But if something came out of me creatively because I had my experience in life and it was gifted to me, mm -hmm. now I give it to you because I thought it was cool to give to you, but you paid for it. Is your life your mother's or your father's, or is it yours? It's my own. Right, because they created you. Right. And you are now out in the world. Yeah. To Frolicking. be free Frolicking and about. live life and become who you can become. Mm -hmm. So if I come up with a great idea, mm -hmm. if I come up with a song or a concept or something and I put it out into the world, right? why then can it become whatever it becomes? Because what you become is our conversations mm -hmm. shape you. The conversations you have with friends shape you. The experience that you have in life, all of these things shape you. Correct. So other people are able to build who you are today. So, yes. but, but in the context of when it's good, it's mine. It's uh, like, that's like a parent, like, don't talk to my kids. Don't know, like, over, like, yo, this is mine. You can't, you're going to be exactly what I want you to be. I want you to be four forever. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not possible. But <laughs> so, but yeah, it's like you. It's because you're a capitalist. Because you want it's it's purely for the reason because you want to make money. That's it. And share the talent, but make money off of sharing the talent. Right. You write a dope song. Yeah. And you hear someone sing it, and they sing it better than you. Do you say, "Well, it's my song"? I don't care if you sang it better than me. Or you're like, yo, that shit sounds great. And like... <laughs> I did the former, <laughs> even though I wanted to do the latter. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it was like, because you see the potential in what it could be. Yeah. And it's so, like, of course, like anything you have a... And you like, want it to be the best that it can be. Exactly. Yeah. Like your kids. Oh, yeah. Like I that's, get that. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, I get it. I get so, it. like a producer, you could, you want someone who raps over your stuff, someone who sings over your stuff. Like we want it to be the best that it could be. Mm -hmm. But capitalism removes you from doing that because you want to make the most you can make. I mean, why can't it be? Why can't it be both, though? Which person are you? Uh, <laughs> I guess realistically, you can't do yeah. both. So in you just every have to situation. You, you, yeah, you just have to accept what you are, which is a capitalist. It just feels so wrong. Yeah, because you—that's how you want, choose to look at it. It is what it is, but you feel the way that you look at it. So if I look at capitalism as a good thing, 
Yes, capitalism allows you the possibility to make a living doing something that you love. That is a positive. Capitalism incentivizes people doing things that need to be done that may not be glamorous or fun. Working a janitor job. Not even a janitor. Like You think everybody who is a doctor wanted to be a doctor? Some of them just want to play guitar. Yes, but somebody <laughs> forced them to be a doctor. No, no, like capitalism, like, yo, I can live a much more stable life. Being a doctor. And I have the aptitude to do this, something that many people don't. So think about how many people with, like, with great gifts that actually impact people's lives mm -hmm. could be squandered if not for capitalism. The market incentivizes what it needs. So if we need doctors, like, look at all of a sudden, like, in each generation, like, you'll notice, like, there were schools for this thing or that thing, and now they're putting the emphasis on code, and they're putting the emphasis on nursing mm -hmm. things. When we need something, yeah. money goes into recruiting those things. The wages go up because we need those things, which incentivizes people, people filling the gaps. Things. Yeah. True. Now, do you think everybody who's coding or everyone who's a nurse or everybody who's a... See, we always think about the lowly jobs, but there's someone who doesn't mind being out in the fresh air, just being outside. Mm -hmm. And it's like, trash, it's nothing. Yeah. Their value is different. Like, they get to put on their fucking... AirPods and, and listen with to nobody. somebody. Yes. Right, and just do their job and go home. And get paid. Yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I never thought about that. Exactly. I never thought about that. Because we, because we, we judge people by our own our standards. Own, yeah. And it's yeah. like there's someone who would look at you and be like, she's damn crazy. Yeah. Like they was gonna give you what at the job? Oh. And you. <laughs> Exactly. Like, what? It was like, they're going to give you an extra what? And you said, no. Nope. No, nope, just right. to go. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody values things differently. And if you missed any of that, see, that's why mm. you're supposed to be watching from Gotta the beginning. Back. This is an evolving conversation. Take it back. This isn't just random ass, hey, Jump let's. Jump in right now. Yeah. This is not double dutch. Yeah. You got to go back. <laughs> so so um, it's like creep creating that context, understanding what capitalism does. And yeah. so it's like we color things. Hmm. Everything has to be good or bad. Instead, of it is what it is. And so you can look at it negatively. You can look at it positively. Hmm. And it's like that's, that's your choice. And it's like you choose and you know which emotions are behind the door. If I look at this negatively, I'm gonna feel bad. Yeah. If I look at this positively, I'm gonna not feel so bad, or I could feel good. Like so. Just like the age thing. Yeah, age, mm. even death. Even death. And it's like look, understanding, like wow. some people, they're in a better place now. Yeah. So from a religious standpoint, there are people who just like, man, their suffering is over. From mm. you know, if it's a medical situation, like anything is different ways, and even just in the very understanding that just death is a part of life. I would not be here had not someone else died. There's only so much space. There's only so much time. And death gives meaning to life because the fact that it ends means that we have to savor these moments. Mm. And so it's like, yo, I got I to gotta have context for things. So I choose the context that I want to create for anything that I look at. So wow. this gets back to the... What we were talking about yeah. with the website and how to use making it mag dot com. Yeah. <laughs> like wow, just went down. I'm sitting here like Man. it's like the shit like shit be like way deeper. Yeah, and it's like but it, it does. It's it's even the simplest thing is deep, and it's like when you can like it's like a drop of water. How many atoms and all the stuff that like it's like. You, you can look at it on the surface level or you can look deeper into it and you find a, a microcosm of organisms and all kinds of stuff. Like, you can look in as deeply as you want to into anything. And so here's where the thing with the website is. Yeah. Eliminating shitty publicists and publicists doing shitty work. Mm. Every independent artist or creative would benefit from a publicist. 
And how did we get all the way on that tangent? Was the fact that music was worth nothing. I ain't gonna say worth nothing, because it has value. Yeah. So let me correct that. It was free, though. It was free. It was music free. Was it was free. open source. Free it, was, art. it was culture. Yeah. And then it was kidnapped. And then it was ransomed back to the public. You wanna hear this? You Buy gotta this pay. Record. Buy this, this. Subscription. Everything. Buy this. No, no, even before we get to the subscription, right? Vinyl, cassette. Mm. CD, and then the internet yeah. brings Linux, open source, the mentality, like, we're going to share this music. We got the files, a perfect thing, Napster, LimeWire, all of these. No, we're going we're gonna to stick strictly to the pirated. Oh, the like, yeah, like, <laughs> like y'all ain't going to make no money. <laughs> Arr, we're <Yeah>. pirating. <laughs> So, good times, good times. <laughs> oh, I used to love getting music that so, way. So look at you. I, I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I take it's back. cool <laughs> when you're on the other end. <laughs> Capitalist. I loved it. it was so easy. Because you could find it and nothing, discover, man. but how many people found new music, discovered new yeah. music, listened to things that they would have never it. listened to? And it was free. Didn't it have to worry free. about it. Because that's what it was supposed to be. And I had no money, so because, it had to be free. Because as an artist, because <laughs> art, and like as a true artist, you're contributing to the zeitgeist. You're contributing to culture. You're contributing to the world. Mm. And so for the first time, especially when you're young and impressionable, it's like now you can, you can sample any and everything. It's like, and it's like, oh, man, I never knew I liked Thai food. It's yeah. like until you try it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like, oh, I never knew I like uh bluegrass or like anything. Like you gotta yeah. experience it until you experience a thing. And so one of those things is is how it's culturally growing up black music and white music. Mm-hmm. Even in the charts, it was race music and then it was black music and then it was Hip hop, urban, like it was like all these things, and notice how everything is slowly merged Merging into, together, hmm. and it's like it's urban culture, it's youth culture because the culture is blended. The monoculture, which people look at it as a negative thing, it's it's like ah, they they like the walls, like this is rock and this is this and this is that, and it's separation. Hmm. It's all culture and. The world is becoming more connected. The culture is becoming more connected. And through art, we see each other better. Hip-hop is the reason Barack Obama got elected. Why do you say that? Hip-hop, 50 years. 50-year anniversary of hip-hop. Yeah, it just passed. Hip-hop changed the world. A black man invented hip-hop. A black man changed the world. The most popular genre of music right now is hip hop. Mm-hmm. Hip hop influence all, all music, genres really. of music. Yeah. Lowest hanging fruit. The accessibility mm. of the thing. Mm. Hip hop is on every continent where people live. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Snow clubs in Antarctica. Right? Right. <laughs> but it's everywhere. And it's accessible to everyone. Mm. And the face of it was black. Mm. Even though when it gets adopted, it becomes whatever it is in that Society. region or that market or yeah. that culture, but then it becomes a part of that culture. Look at K-pop. Yeah. I saw a Asian man rapping the other day. I was like, what? In yeah. his language, of course, but yeah. I was just blown away because I had never seen anything like that. Some of the best producers, Eastern European, like Germany and like all these, like, yo, it'd be crazy. Like, it's like so much that hip hop has done as a culture in spreading our culture. Mm. Spreading our culture. But then there's also, here's the thing where capitalism interferes with that because not all of our culture gets spread. Capitalism is going to lean toward what makes the most money, sex sales. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, violent sale. We love them. Listen, 
yo, I paid eight dollars. I want to see some car chases, some explosions in this movie. <laughs> it's like because I want to see somebody gets stabbed. Yeah, because it's out the ordinary. We we like we're attracted to things that um, like are the, remarkable. Yeah, the wow factor. Yeah, yeah. because it's not. I don't oh want to sit up and watch what I go Already through every know. day. And Boring see. day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it's like, that's part of the thing. And here's the thing, because of culture mm. and like capitalism, it kidnapped all of it. Hmm. And it only released some, some of, of it. it. What they want you to see. Well, no, what y'all want to see, what we can make the most money off of. Mm-hmm. It's like you record a bunch of songs. You're only going to record, release the ones the and put money ones. behind the one that you feel. But guess what? Those other eight songs, there was someone who would have liked them. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not the most profitable ones for you to release. Like, you don't feel as strong about them. Like, you don't want to invest the extra to mix it or the things that, like, when it was like, yo, if I only got so much money and I got to bet on some records, I'm going to bet on the ones they offer the most return on investment. And so when you do it, that makes sense. When they do it, they're... It's a problem. (laughs) (laughs) The monopoly man. There's there's sinister forces at play trying to (laughs) deter us and kill us. And You understand what I'm saying? Get your hand out of my pocket. And so, like, it's understanding that, like, we're all capitalists. Mm-hmm. And so when you understand that, then you you can see it and you can better position yourself to have control. And you can capitalize because you see how to capitalize instead of just being something capitalized Off on. of, yeah. Man, that's a whole lesson right there. Yeah. yeah. But that wasn't even a lesson. It wasn't. <laughs> Back to the website. Right, the website. <laughs> it all started with the website. And because that's the that's the point of the website. Mm. Because music was free and it's returned back to being free because of technology, essentially, music is worthless again. You pay $10 for all of it. Yeah. So there's no holding it hostage anymore. You're essentially just paying a service fee for the management of it and the accessibility to it yeah but and that's only you're not paying for the music i was just gonna say because <laughs> you still don't own it you don't like back in the day when i downloaded that thing i owned that thing yeah, you can do whatever I had you it wanted wherever to do, whenever yeah. however chop it up but you up. do now too because you don't care about the ownership we talked about this before we did you we just did. care about usage and accessibility access. yeah but in a sense, because okay, so I got an Apple Music subscription, mm-hmm. and anytime I don't pay that ten bucks for that month, it's taken away all my playlists, everything. So it's like I, in a sense, I do want that ownership back. Mm-hmm. But no, you don't. It's it's not. Listen, I want you to think about all your playlists and all the stuff that you have, and how much money you would spend to have that and to. If I had to actually pay for it, yes, then you would be selective. What, what you listen to right. because of capitalism. Right. Because it works on both sides. Right. Because they're going to release what makes them the most money, and you're gonna, only going to buy what you feel like you're going to get the most value. So you're less likely to explore new things. You're less likely to listen to independent artists, unproven things like, well, let me just give it a try. But then that's what YouTube's for. Because you can go listen it's to the, it. Yo, it's the same thing. You're just paying with your eyes with ads. Yeah. Hmm. Capitalism. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that at all. I surely do be getting over them ass boys. Like, yeah. Okay, can we get past this ass? Like, like, no, like, no, you want this free shit? Nah, like, somebody got paid for it. You're going to get this subconsciously ingrained in your and mind so, right And quick. once again, like, you're back to not paying for it. Mm. And so, like, and that's the, like, idealist versus <sighs> the realist. When, and when you're able to see how all of this works together... So, you have okay. Um, I don't know what I was saying. You have <laughs> that's all. I you stopped right there. You said you have. Oh, no. Yo, so all right, I remember now. So it's like bringing it all back to the website. It's free now. Mm-hmm. So you, as an artist, you have little value. Um, like music is fungible. 
And that just means that any it could be easily replaced with anything. Like a dollar is fungible. This dollar is worth this dollar. They both have the same value, even though they have serial numbers. So they're unique. But I could take this dollar, if I pay you with this dollar bill or I pay you with this dollar bill, you don't care. They're both a dollar. No, I don't like this serial number. Like, I want that one with that serial number. Like, nobody does that. And so, like, that's where music, there's this idea that music, your song is special when your song is unique. Because if it gets removed from the streaming service, I would just find another song for the mood or the context that I'm in. Yeah. If I have someone coming over and I'm trying to set the mood, boom, playlist. Oh, yeah. your stuff ain't on here? All right, this playlist. Yeah. If I'm getting ready to go out and I'm trying to get lit, Turned. like boom, playlist or this song. Oh, you ain't on there? Psh, another one. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna like. I'm not about to write an email to Spotify. Mm, like, Where what is happened my to <laughs> right? Listen, De La Soul just got their music back on streaming. I heard about that. Right. I saw that. Yeah. And so, like, that's from a crazy. cultural standpoint, we can feel like, yo, that's a terrible thing. And like, and and we could be so happy and rejoice that they're back on there, but guess what? They're back on there, and we already had a subscription. Mm -hmm. So even even someone who's a De La Soul fan, hardcore De La Soul fan, even probably members of De La Soul, mm -hmm. had a subscription to Spotify or Apple Music or something. Without they were paying for a service yeah. that they're not even on. Yeah. So it's the service <sighs> and not the music. And so with understanding that, often y'all think that, oh, I just got to make better music. And it's like, it's fungible. Mm. The difference between the reason why I spend $1,000 for some concert tickets for my wife to see Beyonce is because of her brand. Because she wants to be there and see the show. Because she wants to, like, they just live stream Rolling Loud. This past weekend. Why the hell would anyone buy tickets then? Right. <laughs> it's the experience. It's because of the brand. It's because I want to be, be there. there. I want to feel, feel it. it. Yeah. The experience. Something different. So you have to build a brand that creates that. You have to become Jordans and not shoes. Mm. Yeah, no, no one's selling. Like, you don't even know if Jordans, like, are they more comfortable than this? So, like, all of the things, like, does, the, what, what is the difference between the quality of leather at uh, from Coach to Michael Kors to Louis Vuitton to, like, you don't know. <laughs> no idea. But a brand has been built. Yeah. I know those brands, but I don't Because consistently you've seen mm. them in a context where you were informed in a way that created value in your head. It wasn't promoted to you. Mm-mm. But you it said, was publicized. Right, it was publicized. It was, it was you saw this person wearing it. Luxury. You seen it's, them at this thing. And so yeah. you put it in the context of luxury. You mm -hmm. put it in the context of that's what I want when I get on. Like, sweetie, like, yo, if you can't get a Birkin bag, you feel mm -hmm. You know how many people didn't even know what a Birkin bag was? Didn't, they had to Google it. And didn't. it was like, yeah, that's what I need I was now. like, oh, like, well, I need a Birkin bag. <laughs> <then. Yeah. laughs> Golly, I'm Felicity. not with them. I don't have was a Birkin. Was that promotion? That's, or was it publicity? It's already happened, so that was publicity. It was something that happened. It's something. It was a piece of information publicity. that made you act. Like, let me go look and let see what a Birkin is. Yeah. Like, how many, how many brand activations and different things would influence or, like, that's one of the things would influence a marketing um, and why the, um, was it SEC? Yeah, I think it was the SEC stepped in where you got to tag things with your post with hashtag ad or something mm. because... It's it's deceptive. Yeah. Like if someone thinks that hey, this is a genuine cosign. This I don't understand that this is an ad. ad. Mm. See, then I understand this is promotion. You're doing this for a call to action. Mm. But if I see you just listening to this song or doing this thing, then I think, oh, that's that's the new shit. That's what's lit. That's what people are. And and now I've adopted that information and yeah. assimilated it differently. And so, as creative professionals. I feel like that's the the thing, the hurdle that you have to get over mm -hmm. is the music isn't the value anymore. It's about creating a brand mm -hmm. 
that warrants people spending money, that people see value in the brand. As a songwriter, you can write the greatest songs ever, but you ain't got no leverage unless you got hits. Producer, same thing. Artist, Hit same maker. thing. Like, if you got, you can have terrible music, but if you can pack a club, guess what? You still gonna get paid. Yeah. Like, all of these things is like, hmm. you have to do things to show your value. And as creatives, y'all don't do things to show your value. It's like you're always promoting. And so that's always taken with a grain of salt because I know, like, yo, I'm the hottest in my city and I'm telling you I did it. Da, 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 da. That means nothing to right. me. Right. Nobody cares. Nobody. But if a DJ is like, yeah, you heard of such and such, man, he got one of the craziest records. That, got, that should go up every time we play it. The difference between that first person and third, third person's person. perspective. Everything that we do and how everything is set up is very intentional. And so here's the, the purpose of the site and replacing shitty publicists is all of you would benefit from having a publicist because they would publicize the growth and the things that you're doing. But none of you have a budget to afford someone to just do that. Yeah. Like you can't pay for the video, pay for studio, pay for this, and then pay someone on the very low end, a few hundred dollars, five hundred dollars a month. On the high end, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month. Yeah, it's a lot of room in between. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot of different. Um, there's a different quality of connections. There's a different amount of effort. It's how many other people that they have. It's all of these different things, and so you, what most people do, they end up paying someone $500, $1,200, $1,500 a month expecting the $5,000, $10,000 treatment. And sadly, people will take the money but and you don't have $200 worth of stuff for them to publicize. Yeah. And so the purpose of the update is just do what you're doing as an artist. And every month, you're your own publicist. That's why it's only monthly. Like, cause in, you may not have something every week. You may not have something every day. You, different people have different things, yeah. but rather than volume, we want to focus on quality. quality. So in 30 days, what is something that you're proud of that you've accomplished, that you've done a milestone that you've hit? And let's focus in on that. Give me a picture from it. Give me a headline for it. Give me a little description to make people want to click a link to give me some relevant, more relevant content, whether it's a release for a song, a video, you collaborated with four people, you hit South by Southwest, and whatever it is, each month you're building your brand through your work. You can fake all that other shit. I can buy you streams. You can buy followers. You can do all that fake shit. Yeah. But you can't fake the work. Nope. So when you do that every month, I can see if I go to your Instagram and you put your Instagram up and look at your Instagram and look at your last six posts. And then you have to ask, like, what does that tell someone about my career and what I got going on? And so if I look at that and I'm like Primrose, singer, song, writer, producer, I need to holler at her on, you follow me? Yeah. Or is it going to be fitness? Is it going to be... The merch, is it going to be like a hodgepodge of things and then you still got to post stuff because it's a different platform. It's for social media. Yeah. It's for people. It's not for the industry. So you're, you're posting content for consumers mm -hmm. and then you send professionals to that same place. <sighs> and so that's where things get weird. Yeah. But if you're on our site and you post up this month, boom, about the securing a sponsor for the listening party and how and you reference the people that you've worked with, how many tracks you got done and all of that stuff, and boom, send me over to this song that I check out. Then next month, um, you may talk about the reception of the records at the listening party and how you ended up releasing the first single and this. And then the next month, you, you're doing all of these different things telling the story, yeah. building the story, building your story building your brand. And so that changes how I have to approach you. Like, that's it. And it's like, everybody approaches 
Like, um, and I, you know what? I think it's even more so important. And I think I think this is a thing where with women in the industry, where mm-hmm. one of the things that face with women in the industry and the thing, a complaint that I think many women like. There's some. It's weird to me because it's like hard to believe. Like, like some of the stuff I be hearing, like niggas is creepy like that. And it's like niggas is creepy like that. For like, sure. <laughs> it's like I don't even know what you're talking about yet, but I know for. A f- or a Fenty fact, yes. Niggas no, no, cool, just right? like all kind of like I hear so much stuff like, yo, this is, yo, if you want these beats or if you want like, like, yo, just on weird shit. Oh. You feel me? Like yeah. just be on some weird old shit. And I'd be like, I would rather the money. Okay. <laughs> like, what, if, what if, you, you tripping. Like, uh-huh. but it's like. Got some stories for that one. But right. Yeah. And, you, but, and it's like, it's. One of the things that I've, well, I, and I'm not, it's not going to be for everybody, but it's like, people don't try people that they know about that life mm. in any regards. So if I know, yo, like, yo, he shoot people. <laughs> it's like, you're not going to play with him the same right. way the guy who does it. Right. <laughs> if like, if she's about her business and that's what she be on, then Don't even not going to try her the same way. Like, you follow me? Yeah. But in the absence of a brand, in the absence mm-hmm. of a reputation, in the absence of the, the well, I would say the your brand is your reputation that precedes you. Mm-hmm. It's the reputation that you've built up before someone's even met you. That's what your brand is to me. So if everybody know, yo, about their business or, yo, this person, he come in, he going to knock this stuff out, he don't he smoke, he don't drink, to do it. Like whatever it is now people talk about when they talk about you, mm-hmm. then that's often how people are going to approach you. Or, now, if I know nothing about you, I'm just going to go off of what you look like, how you present your, like when, when you come in. So if you come in and you look like, oh, this is like, oh, he look like he'll shoot something. Might be the nicest, gentlest person <laughs> in the world. <laughs> or you might think he's soft. Right. Like, ah, oh, look at this little goofy. Like, he might be a terrorist. Right. <laughs> but we we treat people how we see them mm. in the absence of them having built a brand. And so in the absence of artists having built a brand, you're all shitty, needy people. Mm. Like, none of you are serious because... None of you are serious. Like, as an artist, that's why you can, everybody can comment, yeah, artists are shitty people. But not me, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because even as an artist, you can look at all the other artists and be like, man, these motherfuckers ain't serious. They ain't yeah. doing this. You ain't did this. Like, you have your little bit of stuff that you know, and you see that they don't know that. This gets into the uh, Dunning-Kruger. Yeah. You know a little something. You think, ah, I know that. Look, he don't even got his ass capped together. Like, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't registered with the Harry Fox agency. Right. You ain't get your mechanicals. Like, you don't even Sound know what exchange. you don't know. Do you even know that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, that was me the other day. And so, like, <laughs> these, are, these are the things. So, all of this is to say, like, the purpose of our site and the updates is for creatives and people in our space to build their brand just one month at a time. What did you do this past month? Write about it. Let people know about it. Present it out there. And that's why I tell you, like, as a subscriber, as a user on the site, check the news. Read. So you see who's working. They doing that. Okay, let me tap in with this producer. Let me tap in with this artist. Oh, you got a show over there? They going on tour? Like... Like when I played the playlist for the artist that was on our stage for South by, you were like, "Yo, this is mm-hmm. this is nice." Yeah, and followed <laughs> all of them, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, "I'm gonna see y'all." Yeah. yeah. And so, like, that's the that's the thing is, it, um, creating your brand, building your brand, doing it in a way like everybody doesn't get the benefit of having this conversation with mm-hmm. me. Like, so everything, anything that I tell someone to do, it's, it's a reason. Like, it's, I'm, I think deeply. I, 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 everything is put together in a very strategic manner for you to be able to benefit greatly without having to learn any of this. You don't have to learn promotion, publicity. You don't have to have a deep thought about how 
uh, music functions under capitalism and all of this stuff and the necessity for you to build your brand to increase it. Like, yo, if you just post this update once a month talking about something that you've accomplished in the past 30 days that is meaningful to you, that has impacted your career, then guess what? After six months, you have six posts that give me a look at like that I could easily read through and get a a sense of who you are and what you have going on of your mm. trajectory mm. in in terms of your career. And that's going to like, yo, let me send them some beats. Oh, shit, let me put her on the show. Not just me, but yeah. other yeah, tastemakers other that we work with. Because they people. watch, right? You're, now, yeah. now you're on there. You have a, you have a show that you do, Indie yeah. Fresh Concerts. Mm. So you can go on there, like, let me see if you find someone. Just like, yo, the same way Will found you yep. for your interview. Yeah. It's like, oh, she got this. Right? Okay, let me go check. All right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to rock with I'm going to do an interview with you and someone else he picked from, like, Texas that he's yeah. doing an interview with. Yeah, I saw that guy. So, and it's just, like, working. Mm-hmm. Get caught doing the right thing. And that was it. I was literally like, I just made that post, what, January? Febru- yeah. No, February, end of February, and just left it there. And somebody just so happened to be scrolling and saw and hit me up about it. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this does work. Yeah. Kelby was right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the problem. You guys don't trust anybody. It's like, it's, it's, it's people out here... <laughs> Telling you to do the right thing. You know, it took you like six episodes to become a subscriber. It was like four. Eh, maybe. It's like four. I don't know. I remember. It was like four. But, <laughs> but, but I did have to trust Jeremiah in order for me to end up here and then yeah. trust you. It was a so, whole. So, and here's the thing. I mean. We've been around for 16 years. Like, yo, someone, someone literally was on my live this past weekend. It was like. Uh, and he was like, yeah, I got the magazine from somebody. I think he bought a magazine $20. And all the DJs in the back of it, he was sent out his stuff to all these DJs. He ended up finding his graphic designer that he still deals with to this day. Wow. And this is from at least five, six years ago. Wow. Right? And it was like, Jeez. and he's telling me, and it was, I was doing the live talking about $50,000. Like, and look, because I had been looking for an artist to invest money into. But it's just like, I, in all this time, in 16 years, we're really we're gonna focus on 10 years of having the website, having the updates up. The, my my criteria was just let me see who will subscribe and post every month for one year. That was my that's looking, all you for, was looking that, for. That's what I was looking for because that shows me consistency, conviction, and consistency. Mm-hmm. You think I ever found it? Didn't the closest. So in every kind of is eight updates in a year. What? And every single artist, every single member, every single user, the only thing I like, hey, post your updates. Let's say, hey, have you posted an update? Post your update. Everybody want to sell me on their stuff and tell me about, yo, I got this and da da da. Like, yo, post your Just update. Just post your update. I'll see that. Like, I personally go through the updates myself. So you ain't ever got to tell me. That's how I'd be like, yo, you got to listen. But like, I like when you was yeah. in here, we were talking like, I checked the updates. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually see it. And so, wow. <clears throat> and that's the that's the thing. Mm. It's like, it it's, it's, it's crazy. That's the thing with the website. Yeah. It's there to be utilized. Yeah. It actually works. Yeah. Like in real life. Yeah. And so, but that's that's everything. Yeah. It's like it's getting over that, like I said, that trust thing. But um, yeah. I don't even know. You guys have left me. Like, I was like, yo. <laughs> I was like, man. Like, cause it didn't start at like no 40 50. It was like just like five thousand. Then I was like, just started adding to it. It was like, yeah, if I find an artist, I'm gonna get behind an artist just to Cause I like doing, like, cause I, I rarely get to work with an artist one on one long term. Because the artist with the budget, when we do work, it's also a lot of other people working work with, with them, them. Mm-hmm. and the people who be working with them be trying to run through the money as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. I'm always the outlier. I'm always the guy like, yo, this don't even make no sense. Why are you spending money on that? And my my path isn't sexy. It's like, yo, I, like I said, I'm the four-year guy. 
like you could make this make money. Like, but if you're trying to make it make money in four months, you're about to fail. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Crash and burn. You you haven't made a thousand dollars off music and you're trying to make a million. In four months. <laughs> yeah. So um, mm-hmm. so like that's the thing. Um, even with that's why uh, I'm not charging you for these consultations. Yes. <laughs> All of these consultations. Because effectively, this is me working with you in the long term to show. Um, but it, it's like the understanding, like even the people who, like on this level, like you don't have the budget and take time out to help them and work with them, don't have the consistency mm. or the conviction. And so um, I used to do the free, I would do free consultations on live. I would let people come in, ask a question, or play a song. Most of the people want to play a song. Like, they just want you to hear what That's the conviction. Yeah. Like, I already know, boom, you're not. And then it would be people that, like, oh, they had a question. Talk to them. And I answer the question. And, I'm like, most of the time I can tell, like, and I'll show you one of the videos, but it's like, you're asking, the, this ain't the first time you asked this. Well, you no just, real thought behind that question. You well, just, no, it is. Like, a lot of times, like, You 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 when you're not looking for knowledge, mm. you're looking for confirmation of what you already believe. Knowledge and what you already advice. believe doesn't work. Cause if it worked, then you'd be doing it and it'd be working. Successfully. Yeah. But it hasn't been successful yet. Mm. So you're just looking for someone to ver- validate mm-hmm. the actions that you already want to take. And they're like, all right. <laughs> that ain't gonna help. <clears throat> but in that, it's just like the end goal for me, like with all of this is helping more artists um, be happy. Yeah. Like that's like I said, that's always for me, that's what the, that's what success looks like is being happy. Mm. And not being a shitty person. Yeah. As an artist. Well, when least. you're, listen, when you're happy, you're not a shitty person. Mm. When you're happy, you're the nicest person on earth. You're right. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Before I even came up here, and I made a, a whole story, I made my part of my story about this today. I was sitting in the car waiting, and there was a woman who parked in front of me, and she was in a Porsche, and she was about to pay the meter, uh, you know, and the meters don't work. You have to do the black and white sign to text it, whatnot, to pay for parking. And a guy saw her about to pay for it, and he walked up to her, and he was like, hey, you don't pay that, don't work, you have to pay this. She just snarled at him and, like, shrugged and you know kept going on I'm like that was so rude because you didn't have to be that mean he he could have just let you go ahead and waste your money but instead he chose to you know da, da, da. and so I'm saying that to say like I don't know what it is about people and just being rude and mean I'm like you got to be very unhappy in life to just be yeah. like that naturally not even to say thank you because it's so easy to just be like thank you you know that could have you saved my me some money you know but I don't know what it is about people just unhappy it seems yeah. It's, supposed to be very unhappy in life. It's hard to do something when you're tired. Yeah. Like even the simplest thing is difficult when yeah. you're tired. When I mean, you can't long that you you're physically exhausted. And it's like I think a lot of people are just emotionally exhausted. They surround themselves with the wrong people, put themselves in the wrong situations. Superficial and things. And it's like even here's the thing. <clears throat> Prior to us starting this, mm-hmm. doing this music thing will exhaust you. Like, my goal is to change the way that you look at this stuff, mm-hmm. the way that you interact with these things. Ha- had you kept spending money on these videos and getting those results, had you kept doing these shows and getting these results, had you kept looking at these things these ways and getting those results? And not getting the results that you see, not having a budget together and understanding where what everything fits and still living your life the way that you were living it, not mm-hmm. realizing it is by God's grace. That you are here, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like all of these things and then stress mounts mm-hmm. and then discontent because you're spending money on this and that didn't work and everything's a scam and everybody's just like, get you. it changes, like, it changes you like everybody like that's why everybody is the good guy in their own story mm. because everybody has the context for all the shitty things that make them a shitty person 
like she knows why she snarls. She knows like like for me, like like I was saying when it comes to like a lot of the the horror stories that I've heard from like women about like dealing with dudes in this industry, and it's like I couldn't imagine that because I, I don't think like that. Like I'm like like I've been married for sixteen years, so it's like like a lot of them like, and even when I wasn't married. Like wasn't. I wasn't a creep. Yeah, <laughs> like, still wasn't like that. Like yeah. so, so it don't even be something that they're like, why? Why like, would this? Like, yeah. All right. <laughs> and so, but it's like so. Then I I understand. It's like because it would it would be. I had a way that I looked at females in the industry. Because it would be a lot of them. Like that were already doing so. Like when I first started the magazine, just like, hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. It was one one person in particular. Um, I remember like we we're out and I like a networker, like, hey, how you doing? What do you do? And I'm like, nothing. I'm like, all right. And so boom, just keep it moving. I'm talking to everybody. And um, and then another time, same person doesn't realize it, I'm it, the same it, person. Mm-hmm. I go up and I pass out magazines. It's like Four people, she was the only female, wear the music thing. And so I passed everybody a magazine except her. And it was like, oh, so you're not going to give me one? I'm like, yeah, it's for people in the the music. Right, you do nothing. But but I didn't even say it because I didn't even (laughs) reference it. Yeah. But it's just like, this is for people who do music. Well, I do music. And I'm like, all right. And it's like, (laughs) and so it is like dealing like we all bring our experiences to the table, and we yeah. see things in a, di- a certain way, yeah. and it colors our our vision. And so it's like for a long time. Then I quit talking to females at industry events for a long time because like I didn't want to deal with that. Like just like and it's like, but then it's like dudes be the same way sometimes. But it's like it's the oh you trying to like no I'm not it's like do you wanna do you wanna add <laughs> and so it's like those those type of things it colors things it changes things from our experiences mm-hmm. and so um, like in 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 doing that um, it changed the way that I behaved. And then I had to I had like and this was like from talking with my wife and then. Talking, like hearing like other things that females dealt with in the industry at studio sessions, how people be like, 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 all right, so I I gotta give grace to someone who, yeah, I feel like you was rude, I feel like you was this. And but there's there's a reason why you're yeah. that. Yeah. And and that's what it is. And so I, I can't, I can still just know that you're a rude ass person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like they don't change the fact that you're a rude ass person, rude. but it's like, all right. And I not have to feel any way about yeah. it. I don't have to internalize it because it ain't for me. It's for you. Mm-hmm. You're treating me this way because of you. Like, and even dealing with artists is like, artists not try, like, it ain't about my service. Like our service ain't expensive. Yeah. Our service, it's not that our service doesn't work because it works. It's like you can go see all the videos, all this stuff, and it's like all this stuff. And it's like, so anybody who doesn't subscribe, doesn't get a membership, mm-hmm. doesn't believe all this stuff, I know that has nothing to do with me. Even if you say it, dude, it's like, all right. <laughs> I know it's like you don't believe in you. Yeah. That to, then that goes back to episode number one. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch this you gotta whole watch thing. It. It's amazing. You gotta start at the top. <laughs> so we gotta get up out of here. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a great conversation, though. Yeah, was, and yeah, y'all needed that. I needed that, so I'm gonna need to take some notes, go back and take some notes later on. Yeah, and uh, get me, get me the the whiteboard. Oh, <laughs> Let's see. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. You uh, took them. Yep. All right. There yep. we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. This has been episode 12. 12. Of the Artists of Shitty People podcast. Artists of Shitty People. How do, you, do you feel like you're becoming less shitty? I do. I feel like I'm becoming happier overall because I'm accepting a lot of more things that I didn't before. And I'm honest with myself, more honest with myself. So, yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. That is the yeah. goal. And, and so since I'm honest with myself, I can be honest with other people. And I just be like, ah, you can take it or you can leave it. <laughs> like, because they're going to look at it however they look at yeah. it. It just is what it Big is. Facts. Yeah, I'm so learning that. that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So if you watched it from the top, you would be probably having some yeah. of these same things. You'd, you'd be a little bit Yo, more what's comfortable the stuff? with your life. No, like the like the video, share, all that oh, good stuff. Yeah, we like, never had subscribe, subscribe, share, comment. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below, and we'll answer them maybe next week because we'll never be answering. No, we're, we're not gonna answer them. Like we'll maybe do a live. We'll, we'll do, do a live. live. Yeah. yeah, we'll do a live. All right, and yeah. we're out. <laughs>